My name is Rachel Singh. I was born in Pennsylvania in 1914. When I was young, I lived in the country with seven brothers. My father was an artist and my family was very poor. Growing up with a Christian family, I knew Christ all my life. And out of all seven brothers, Nate and I had a special bond. When I was about 10 years old, I met Mrs. Parmalee. Mrs. Parmalee, having no daughters, considered me as one of hers. In fact, on my 18th birthday, she took me to England. It was amazing, but on the way back, I sat on my bed when Mrs. Parmley walked in and asked me to take her inheritance. This stunned me. Then I, then I went out on deck to see the sunrise. Sometime in the night, I had decided that the rich life was, was not the life for me. Then suddenly, I wasn't on deck anymore. I was in the jungle seeing two brown-skinned, half-naked people beckoning me to come. Then they vanished. Soon later, I went to mission language school and finally found a tribe in Quito, Ecuador, who killed all who entered. So, then I went to a man who had three servants. One of them knew Aqua language. I learned from her, Dayuma. Soon later, we heard news about Nate. Nate and his four fellow missionaries had been speared by Akas. I felt my heart break a thousand heartbreaks. Then in the jungle, when we, when we went to find Diana's family, I, when we got there, I could hardly believe my eyes. It was the same thing I had seen in the vision 20 years before. Um, and then I told them about how God loved them and would forgive them for all their killing. Then I told them how I forgave them for killing my brother and that they had to listen to me. Because I forgave them, they began to open their ears to the good news of Jesus. Then in 1994, I died of cancer and was buried by the Ark Church.